So as we migrate over to the actual transmission housing, the main case, this is your factory transmission case. This is basically what it looks like from the factory. And, you know, Chrysler, they decided to make the transmission pretty wimpy as far as the material that's inside the case. It's very, very limited based on the metal that's in it. It's a cheap aluminum, very thin wall, especially in the upper sections. And of course, when we get into the valve body section later, we really understand why these things have such cross leaks because of the aluminum that's in them. So, you know, Chrysler certainly set out to build an inexpensive transmission and it's our job to make them hold a lot of power and last, of course, our warranty is 500,000 miles, so we have to do a lot of work to upkeep them. One of the first things that needs to be addressed is the integrity of the case. As you see here, this is a case that's broken, and the case, the crack literally starts down here on the side, it goes all the way around the top, and it goes all the way down on the side. We'll see these at pretty low mileage trainings, about 60,000 miles. That's typically not indigenous of power, it's more an application of heavy hauling, um, a lot of payload, turning the engine up some, motor mounts get kind of sagged, everything's bouncing around, you have that huge engine in the front that's connected to the front and it's bouncing around, you have the transfer case in the back, maybe you put a lift kit on it, you had a toy hauler, you know, you start really working it, that case flexes a lot, so they break. Pretty much when the case cracks, you're, you're done. I mean, you're pretty much buying a new transmission and unfortunately, that in, in, indicates a bad core. So not only are you having to buy a new, you know, seven or $8,000 transmission, but you also are losing the core value, which is often as much as $3,000. So to avoid that, what we've developed is a transmission brace that you see here. So this transmission brace goes over the top of it. And of course you girdle it on the bottom with the transmission pan. So the assembly makes any transmission, whether it's completely stock or modified, it's like one of the first things you should ever do is 68 RFE. So we're talking 10 years of vehicles from 2007 to 2017 or actually 2018. <clears throat> so over 10 years um, that have this transmission that have an issue with it. So you add the big transmission pan to the bottom of the case that strengthens it. Heavy wall aluminum gives you a nice drain plug, big drain plug so it doesn't strip out so you can service it. You know, any trainer you want to service pretty much, especially 68, you pretty much want to service about once a year. That's this good rule of thumb because they generate a lot of heat. Clutch packs are small, they drop debris, catch them in the pan. So this pan adds an additional six quarts of fluid over the factory level, which is huge. It also gives you a deeper sump. So the filter goes deeper in the transmission pan. So you have more volume and you don't cavitate. That means you never ever cavitate or suck air into the pump, which is also kind of a common problem with these trannies because the pan is so thin or it's so narrow. So your oil sump is not very deep. So we add that sump to the very bottom, always ensures that you get full oil capacity. Add the brace <coughs> that you see here. And the way this brace works is it actually grabs the top of the transmission, which is before this crack. So you have bolts down here. Then you the second member, which you see your, your crack, your, your split here. That second member comes up on top of the transmission. So you tighten this portion of it down, this portion of it down. And then I intentionally did not tighten this portion yet because you can see how much room there is between the front member and the rear member. So as you tighten this down, it actually pulls that together and it pre-stresses the entire top of the case, just literally like pre-stressed concrete. You know, you have steel bars going through it. You pour the concrete, let it set, you release the bars. It tightens that together so it completely compresses it. It works the same way with the, with the transmission case. You completely compress the top of the case and now your stress member goes from the back of the transmission all the way to the front so this entire member now is de-stressed and it's pulled together via the, the uh, transmission brace and it encapsulates all that stress so it, it completely eliminates case breakage. Then of course you add the pan <coughs> to the bottom of it, which is this guy, and you see how much material is in there. So this acts as a strengthening member in the bottom and you have a fully encapsulated transmission case essentially from the top to the bottom. So now your main member is solid. And that's what you really have to start with on the 68 is make sure that the integrity of the case is solid so you don't get flexing, so it eliminates cross leaks. You don't get flexing on the top, so it eliminates your case breaking and ultimately destroying a good transmission. So that's a really common problem. And that, like I say, that's, that's one of the first things you can do to a brand new truck, whether it's got 10 miles on it or 10,000 miles or 100,000 miles. The pan, the brace, excellent add-on. Now, 
One of the other little things that Chrysler did for us is this little guy. So this little plastic piece is what the filter screws onto. Your filter essentially screws on this plastic piece and then the plastic piece screws into the transmission case and it attaches this filter. So you have an internal filter that protects debris from coming out of the torque converter from wiping out the, tra wiping out the transmission. And you have a primary filter that pulls oil in to filter it from the valve body. Well, this filter is, this screw on filter is a maintenance item, pretty important. Problem is this little plastic piece, I cannot tell you how many of these vehicles we brought in the shop because the transmission was malfunctioning, just brand new, rel relatively low mileage. And this filter is laying in the bottom of the pan because this little plastic coupler has melted or stripped out or broken and fallen off. So the first thing you wanna do is replace this coupler, this little piece, which is aluminum, nice little piece you can get from us individually. It screws onto the filter, just like you see here, and then screws on the transmission case. So now you have aluminum case, an aluminum adapter, and then a nice screw on adapter for the filter. And now you have an assembly that's solid. You're not gonna to have to worry about that falling off. <clears throat> so all these parts are, you can do um, externally. A transmission pan, your nice little aluminum piece, a new filter, case brace, pretty good maintenance items. So that's pretty much what we have on the external portion of the 68 RFE. So now I'm gonna tell you all about the valve body.